Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm going to be doing the 2020 Superlatives book tag. This book tag was created by Kirsten's Corner. I will link her channel down in the description below. So this tag is kind of what it sounds like. I'm just going to give the books that I read this year some superlatives. So the first prompt is Class Clown. This is the funniest book you read this year. It's really hard for me to remember what all I read this year. Oh my goodness. It's been a long year. But the funniest book that I read this year was probably Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. This is a story about the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know. And it's fantastically funny. Their writing style, they're just able to make this such a funny story. The characters, they're all unique, but like they're really real with how they describe the characters. And I think that that just makes it so much more funnier. I absolutely love so many of the quotes in this book. Secondly, the Ursa Libra. And then we also have an angel and a demon and the way that they interact is just fantastic, especially how they kind of like work together, but work separately, but also together. Like they're like co-workers who don't like each other, but also they recognize that each other is important. So they just kind of work together. I love how much of a role they play in this book and I highly recommend watching the TV show as well if you haven't checked that out because it is so spot on to the book and it honestly improves upon some of the things that I didn't like as much in the book. It gives Azrafel and Crowley, the angel and the demon, a little bit more agency and that's what I really love because they were definitely my favorite characters in this book. I love all the prophecies and I love how they come to fruition. So definitely check this book out if you have the next prompt is The Drama Queen, the most dramatic book you read this year. I love this book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The drama that was going on, it was fantastic. I was so here for it. Everything that happened, I just absolutely love. This book has so many fantastic characters and I absolutely love every single relationship that Evelyn gets into and how that helps her develop and how that helps her get further in life. I think that so many of the things that she goes through in here is so real, but it really is something that needs to be kind of addressed. Like, she goes through abusive relationships, she goes through being LGBTQ in a time when it's not openly accepted as much as it is now. Not that it is completely accepted now, but it's a lot more accepted now than it is back in these times. Definitely a great read, definitely so much drama, and like, I love all of those moments. I love so many different things in this. When we discover that one of the husbands winds up being abusive, I was just like, oh my god. Like, it genuinely terrified me because you don't see that coming until it happens. So this book was just fantastic. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. Evelyn Hugo, such a great character. Honestly, this book made me really respect movies and really respect film. And it made me really respect storytelling because it really just was so well done. So the next one is Class Couple, your favorite book couple you read this year. Inej and Kaz from Six of Crows. These two, all of their moments I was just so here for and I love how much they really struggled with being okay with one another and being okay with being touched by one another because of all of the things that they've both been through. I really loved how you know it wasn't just over at the end of the book that they were through all of their traumatic stuff you know they were still dealing with it and they were still working through it. It was just a part of the story. I absolutely love their relationship. I love them both individually and I love them together. I feel like they really build each other up and help each other to be better. I love how they aren't over really terrified of the other one, you know, getting hurt or anything. I mean, they don't want that to happen, but they aren't like obsessive over it. Like that was my biggest problem with Cole in Throne of Glass is that he was just too overprotective and that's just really irritating. So I love that they were able to both love each other and care for each other, but also respect each other's decisions and ability to accomplish tasks. The next prompt is most changed, book with the best character growth. So for this, I'm gonna go with Sydney from the Bloodline series over the course of the entire series. She starts off these books being very prim and proper, being very religious, being very set in her ways, and believing certain things about certain people, very prejudiced. But throughout these books, she starts to drop a lot of that, and she becomes so much more accepting, and she's actually even willing to date a vampire, even though she has a lot of issues with vampires in the start of this series. So that really shows her overall development, and she breaks away from the alchemist. It's fantastic. She's able to help inspire positive change there. 
that's what I think is fantastic. Not only does she develop to break away from bad practices, but she also develops to help others to break away from those bad practices and to change those bad practices for the better so that people aren't stuck being hateful, being prejudiced, and that's what I just love about her in these books and how she develops. I also love how she changes and she grows to accept herself for who she is and for what she can do and for how she can help people. She doesn't just let people tell her what she can and can't do. She takes what they tell her that she can and can't do and she's like, I'm gonna do what I want to do. So the next prompt is most popular. The book character you'd want to be friends with. And for this, I would want to be friends with Selena. <laughs> Selena is a fiercely loyal person and she will also kill anyone that is mean to me. Like, yes, I'm just kidding. But seriously, she is fiercely loyal. She will do anything to protect and help her friends and that's what I really love about her. And honestly, she seems like she would bring so much different experience to the table in relation to me because like I don't know anything about any of the things that she does. I'd be interested to know what her life is like. It's almost like being friends with like a CIA agent or something, you know, like, like that'd be different. So the next prompt is most likely to be president, the book character who could be the president one day. So I did just finish this book, but April, I think she could be president one day. She's got ambition, she's got drive. She's also got the ability to kind of sell herself. Also, she's a viral internet star. I mean, that's what we do, we're America. We just care about internet fame. So definitely April. Honestly, I think that she wouldn't be terrible as president either because she has a lot of beliefs that I kind of value and agree with, such as the issue with income inequality. And I absolutely love how she really promotes unity and people just coming together and supporting one another. And I think that she's got a great message. I also think that she understands how it works where if you've got one message someone is going to come out with the exact opposite message and then it becomes a game of who can one-up each other next and it's not really about the message anymore it's about that fight between the two of you so I think that she definitely understands the political atmosphere so I think that April would be a great president. Most likely to brighten your day, the happiest book you read this year. Have I read many happy makers this year? The answer to that question is no. So I read Turtles All the Way Down earlier this month and I definitely think that this book would make people happy. I mean it made me very happy. It made me very happy and nostalgic at the same time. I honestly loved this book. I loved the characters. It just made me really happy and I honestly cried at the end of it. Not because I was sad but because life goes on and that's such a great message. It honestly just made me cry like reading a little section of about how she doesn't know it yet but she's going to she's she's gonna have all these great things in life things might be hard right now but life goes on and you just have to get through it and once you get through it there is greener grass on the other side and so I absolutely love this book and I definitely recommend it if you haven't read it yet so the next one is best entertainer the most entertaining book you read this year this is going to have to be the entire book of the air trilogy these these books I found them so entertaining they were so fast-paced I absolutely love the writing style it reminded me so much of Cassandra Clare's writing style and I absolutely love her works I definitely recommend checking this series out if you haven't yet I do know some people have issues with the main love interest which I can kind of see where they're coming from but I didn't really find that to be super problematic so I definitely did enjoy this series I love the characters I love the writing style especially that's probably what was my favorite thing it really was just such an exciting series and everything that happened I was just so scared for these characters but also so excited to see what would happen next so definitely recommend this series I've got book talks up for all of the books in it so if you want to know more about my thoughts on them you can check those out most unique the most unique book you read this year I'm really struggling with this one and I feel bad picking the same book again but I'm gonna go with an absolutely remarkable thing this book was definitely very unique the characters were very unique and the writing style was very different from a lot of the writing styles in the other books that I read because it was very introspective but it was also idealistic and so you get a lot of ideologies in here and you get a lot of, of kind of thought processes and what's going through the characters heads is really a big focus of what's going on here. You get a really good look at fame and kind of a really hardcore look into what it is like to be famous. Definitely a great book. Definitely super original. It was super random too some of the time 
seems like with the songs that would be referenced or with some of the things that would be referenced. Super original, super unique, great book. Definitely recommend it. So the next one is Most Unforgettable. And this is the most unforgettable book you read this year. Okay, it's time for the obligatory Twilight reference. Midnight Sun was super unforgettable for me. You know, I've been waiting for this book for like my entire life now it feels like, but it finally came out and it was the most exciting day of my life. I read every page of this book, of this unforgettable book, which has a, a straight up stalker as the main character. So if you like Twilight, I think that you would get a kick out of Midnight Sun. I don't think that you would necessarily like it if you didn't like Twilight because it is very much the same book, the same writing style, the same characters, the same everything. So it's a great, great fun read for those Twilight lovers out there. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I've got a vlog up where I'm reading this book as well as rereading Twilight, so you can check those out if you want to. But this was the funnest part of my year. Like, I pre-ordered this. I literally sat and waited for it. My cousin and I, we were texting the entire time waiting for this book. I'm not going to forget Midnight Sun coming out for a while. And so the last prompt is most organized, and this is the most well thought out book that you read this year. And for this, I'm going going to go with The Scythe Trilogy by Neil Schusterman. This trilogy I thought was very well thought out. It was such a unique series as well. The characters, I just absolutely loved them. I loved how the plot really developed in this book because it was just so exciting and I was so nervous for these characters all of the time. I love how each book changed the next one. I especially love Thunderhead and The Toll, how those two books kind of played with each other and how the Thunderhead it really left us off on such a a note of, of despair and destruction and I was just so terrified for our characters. So I definitely recommend this series as well. I've got Book Talks up again for this whole series so feel free to check that out as well. So this was my end of the year 2020 superlatives tag. If you like this video please like, subscribe, comment. If you're gonna do this tag comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!